how I felt yeah. when I got in the car and I saw you departing, you know, the rental area without uh -huh. your hands on the wheel. Uh -huh. I felt anxious and nervous. <laughs> But I'm already, I will do. But I'm, I'm, I'm already over it. You're That's over it. Fast. Yeah. Just seeing how capable. It is. Yeah. No, I was I was a little anxious and nervous. I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have never seen it before. Yeah, absolutely. My like my 83 year old father. Mm -hmm. You know, if he if he was in this car, he mm -hmm. he 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 asked them like get out. I don't think he could. <laughs> <laughs> something else <laughs> never been in one never been in Tesla yeah. all right welcome yeah. you're about to experience the full Tesla experience I guess they're quick too right they're quick and also um, uh, self-driving oh my gosh yeah <laughs> I read Jalopnik do you know that uh, Web page. Uh, they have lots of stories about self-driving uh, incidents and oh. things happening when people are trying to do that stuff. Oh wow! Are you kidding? You're doing it right now. Yes. Yeah. This one is uh, still in beta, so yeah, operating under my supervision. So this is absolutely incredible. <laughs> I almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, not not all Tesla owners have have full self driving. You have to subscribe it or purchase it. Um, so, but then I wonder what the issues are when I see these mm -hmm. stories and incidents. You know, people are like fall, falling asleep at the, at the wheel, you know, and then <laughs> with self driving on, and mm -hmm. so, and something happens. Hmm. Yeah, that is. Um. You, yeah. You can't go to sleep. You, you you can't. You really don't want to. Yeah, we're not there yet. Yeah, we're getting there. If we're not there yet, yeah. if anything happens while on full self driving, it's all your your uh, liability, legally. Yeah. Yeah. As we speak, so. But some people like just sometimes, I guess, over time they feel complacent. They feel comfortable. They just, just let go themselves and they fall asleep. But yeah. Not the not the best practice for sure. Right. Yeah. All right. Never thought I'd see it see the day. <laughs> that's that's funny. Uh, that's that's interesting how you uh, you're experiencing Tesla for the first time. I grew up in rural Wisconsin. Hmm. I just started driving a tractor when I was 12 years old. A tractor. Yeah. <laughs> Snowmobiles, yeah. bikes, old junky cars, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. My newest car right now is a 2001 Audi uh, station wagon. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. And there's no uh, like Tesla dealership in my town, but I still I still see a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So um, it's definitely the most highly adapted uh, electric car. Mm -hmm. I see a few Ionics, mostly Teslas. Mm -hmm. Full self driving? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's always exciting to see um, someone who's never experienced it and just like impressed. Yeah. A lot of customers uh, who have experienced self driving in my car, they, they've been like pleasantly uh, impressed and like satisfied. Autistic son. Mm -hmm. You think he'll ever be able to get in a car and have it drive him where he needs to go? You know? Will we get to that point in, my, in his lifetime? He's 19. Oh, I mean, I 
think we might see that time uh, happening in real life within probably like I would say two, three years. You see how that could help people with disabilities? Yeah. You know? Yep. Yep. That's one other uh, huge advantage, benefit of this uh, self-driving technology. When I get home, I'm told he's going to have one of Tesla someday. Yeah. I highly recommend. It's um, it's one of those things that you once you've experienced it, you can never go back. It's like you can't. Right. I, I personally like I. I had this one time when uh, one day I couldn't use this technology and I was just like yeah I, I felt so like I don't know unsafe like less safe Wow. yeah that's interesting you said that I thought you were gonna go with like you know felt like I was back in the Stone Age so to speak you know because <laughs> I couldn't use the newest technology but unsafe that's interesting yeah yeah that's a uh, it, it, it is interesting for me to even say that too, but it's, I, it's actually true. Like I feel way safer with it uh, enabled. It's doing all the braking right now. Everything. I, I'm just I'm just monitoring. If anything, I'm like actually like more like a second eyes to this. Like he, like it's executing everything, and I'm just like sitting back and supervising, making sure um, other drivers don't make any crazy moves and stuff. Because yeah. If you grab the wheel right now. And turn it. You you could override. Correct. Yeah. There's there's three different ways to override um, or deactivate it. You just like press uh, a little bit of force to the steering wheel, then it'll deactivate. There's this button here. Uh, one uh, one uh, one. I guess like click or hit. Yeah. It would deactivate it. And if you uh, hit the brake pedal, it would also de deactivate it and turn it into manual driving. And this stuff's been in beta for two years now? Mm, a little more than two years, yeah. Wow. Um, I, people, it is available to people through a subscription right now. Yeah, subscription um, or purchase. Purch purchasing is 12000 and subscription is uh, $200 a month. Um, um, a lot of people are hoping the subscription price to go down, maybe like 150 or ideally 100 per month um but yeah wow. so right now um anyone who gets tesla buys tesla gets a one free uh one one month free trial wow. of full self driving wow. yeah cyber truck too um cyber truck will be able to have that feature in the in the upcoming uh i guess um in the near future hopefully but it's not able able for that yeah so, so you, you put in the address where we're going and it just is taking you the that yeah yep that's all i did like since i picked you up i just hit the address activation that's it it's been driving for us so yeah i'm from i'm from los angeles i moved here three years ago but because of this i was able to go back every whenever i want with, with no stress because in my car, usually I just listen to podcasts, like I do, yeah, I, all I need to do is just monitor, very comfortable. And the biggest part of monitoring is probably watching your surroundings, right? That's the exactly what it is. Cutting you off or yep. pedestrians or... Yeah, the car itself rarely makes mistakes. It's not perfect, but then... Um, you know, I, I worry about other other drivers making mistakes. So yeah, surroundings. It doesn't I mean. tailgate. It doesn't. Mm -mm. It takes over like a slower cars, and it, it when when there's like a construction zone, it maneuvers around it. Like it's pretty mind blowing. And they're they're working on like a um, uh, self parking feature. So it'll it'll go find parking for you once it drops you off. All you need to do is just like hit that button, and yeah, it'll it'll go to find parking and come back to you whenever what if at the next light you had to make a left it can navigate through three lanes like this yeah 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 it can do literally it can make u-turns as well yeah all these features all this uh i guess capabilities didn't exist like two years ago it was just like it would just be able to you know uh go within the lane and it was just like 
um, slow down and accelerate. That was about it. But now it's just like full, pretty much all like, yeah, self driving. Can I tell you how I felt? Yeah. When I got in the car and I saw you departing, you know, the rental area without uh -huh. your hands on the wheel. Uh -huh. I felt anxious and nervous. <laughs> But I'm all, I will do. But I'm, I'm, I'm already over it. You're That's over it. Fast. Yeah. Just seeing how capable. It is. Yeah. No, I was I was a little anxious and nervous. I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have never seen it before. Yeah, absolutely. My like my 83 year old father. Mm -hmm. You know, if he if he was in this car, he mm -hmm. he 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 asked to like get out. I don't think he could. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's how quickly. Just yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine yourself being on the driver's seat, and within an hour, you'll get already like used to it and yeah. spoiled. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like if if I didn't have this capability, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to have uh, conversations with you like this. Because I'll have to just like... Yeah, because you're concentrating on the road. Yep. And I can see going back to LA. Look, look at that. that. It's just all many Six for... lanes of traffic. Yep. And you're not worried. Nope. That's I think uh, we're here, so... Yep. Okay. Well, thank right. you no for the problem. conversation and for letting me experience this once in my life. Ah, uh, my pleasure. Hopefully uh, you get Tesla um either for as a rental or well i'm going to keep car. an eye out for you know advances you know because of that situation i have with my son uh -huh. and then here you go oh, wow. thank you so much no problem it was thank a pleasure you. talking to you nice talking. yeah safe travel to uh, arizona thank you yeah thank you bye, bye. have a good day Another perfect drive, customer was blown away, extremely impressed, I mean customer just, his, his reaction and impression, you know, speak it all.